Hey guys, Dr. Brown here coming to you from Tarlock City, Philippines. And this video is dedicated to Miss Ostrom's sixth grade math class in Pin Oak Elementary School. So we're doing a video on the other side of the world for you guys in her math class. She's my daughter, by the way. Hey, Christy. Hopefully you guys have a great day. All right, let's get after it here. We're talking about percent. And the word percent, the definition means out of 100 or per 100. So percent out of 100 or per 100, and it's denoted by this funny looking little sign here. Some people may make it a little different than I do. They may have two zeros with a line in between, but I make mine like that. Okay, let's assume Joey, Bob or Sally or someone has 75 green marbles and they have 25 white marbles. If we add those together, 75 plus 25, we get 100 total marbles. If someone were to ask you what percent of the marbles were green, what would you say? Well, our definition was out of 100 or per 100. So in this case, if somebody says how many, what percent marbles were green, 75 out of 100 were green. So you could say that as a fraction, that was 75 out of 100 or 75 per 100. And since it's out of 100, I can replace that with the percent sign. That's 75%. 75 percent of the total were green marbles. So what would we say if somebody asked what percent of the marbles were white? Hey, what would you say? Uh, well, okay. We had 25 out of 100. So we had 25 out of 100. Well, I guess I still have room. Since it's out of 100, that's what percent means. So I could say that's 25%. Okay? Let's keep rolling here. All right, a student gets 60 answers correct on an English test. This sounds like me. <laughs> that's out of 100 questions. Okay, 60 out of 100. What percent were correct? He ended up getting 60 out of 100 correct. Since it's out of 100, I can replace all of that with this percent sign. That's 60%. If he got 60% correct, what percent were wrong or incorrect? Okay, so 100%, 100%, would be if he got them all correct, minus the 60%, give, leaves me 40% would be incorrect. Okay. All right, now then, let's express these percentages as a fraction. As a matter of fact, there's three things that we'll end up working with. Percent, we'll, we'll take percentage as a fraction, we'll go from a fraction to percent, or we may go percentage to a decimal. And you'll get to where you can work between the three fairly easy. For example, 5%. If we were to express that as a fraction, remember that percent sign means per 100. I have 5 and this entire symbol right here means per 100. So I can just rewrite that as 5 per 100. Okay. 
Now, your teacher may want you to reduce that fraction. I don't know how you guys may do that. I would say 5 divided by 5 over 100 divided by 5. So I've just divided the numerator by 5 and the denominator by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, 100 divided by 5 is 20. But the, the key is not necessarily the reduction right now. Now, Ms. Ostrom may want you to do that, but right now, let's just think about replacing this 5% with this fraction. That's 5 and percent is per 100. Okay, so let's do this next one. 33 and one-third percent. Okay, I'm going to take 30, you, you know how to make um, 33 times 3 plus 1 is 100, so you know how to take this to a fraction. So 33 and one-third is 100 over 3, but the percent means it's per 100. Now, I would assume, since you're in the sixth grade, you know how to deal with complex fractions. This 100 is actually over 1. We just don't write it down that way. So now I have a fraction divided by a fraction. I invert and multiply. So that's 100 over 3 times, I'm going to flip this one upside down, times 1 over 100. 100 divided by 100, those cancel, that's 1, 1 times 1 over 3. So 33 and 1 third percent is 1 third. It's 1 third of 100. Okay, I'm going to pause the video now, erase these things, and then uh, we'll have a look. Uh, a few more examples here, so I'll be back just in a moment. Okay, I am back. All right, now we're going to convert fractions to a decimal. Okay, let's convert one half to a decimal. And our goal here, ultimately, we'll go decimal to a percentage. Okay. All right, so... When you look at one half, we're asking ourselves, um, what do I need to multiply that by, this denominator, the number in the bottom, to give me some number over 100? So 2 times something equals 100. Well, it's 50. 50 times 2 is 100. So if I multiply, this one half times 50 over 50. What is 50 divided by 50? One. So I'm really just multiplying one times one half. So it's not changing the relationship. Now, if I take, well, you know when you multiply fractions, it's numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. So two times 50 is 100. One times 50 is 50. So now that would be the fraction equivalent to, to this, that now I've gotten it in a per 100 basis. So now I can just say it's 50 per 100. What does that mean? It's 50%. I can take the per 100 or out of 100 and replace that with the percent sign. However, the question was not change the fraction to a decimal or to a, a percentage. It was change it to a decimal. All right, I have 50 divided by 100. Where's my decimal points? Right there. I would encourage you to write that down first before you do anything. Now 100 will not go into 50, so I need to add a zero. 100 to go into 500 five times. 5 times 100 is 500. Now 500 minus 500 is 0. Okay, so if I convert the fraction to a decimal, is 0 0.5, I'll add a 0 out there. 
point zero point five is the same as fifty percent, which is the same as one half. Fifty percent is half of something. How cool is that? All right, let's keep rolling. Three out of five. Oh, well, I've got to multiply that by something to get the denominator to equal 100. 100 divided by five is 20. So if I multiply this fraction by one, and I'm representing my one as 20 over 20, now then, 5 times 20 is 100. 3 times 20 is 60. Since I'm going to a decimal, I'll actually stick with that this time. 60 divided by 100. Where's my decimal point? Put it down first. 100, you cannot divide into 60, so I need to add a zero. Now then, 6 times 100 is 600. So 600 minus 600 is zero. So three-fifths is equals 0 0.60, and that equals 60%. Now you'll notice something that's been going on when you divide by 100 you'll notice the decimal point moves to the left and this 60 over 100 became a 0.6. Now when I'm putting a percent sign, I'm multiplying times 100 and the decimal point moves to the right two places. And then I add the percent sign. 0.6 became 60%. 60% when going to decimal Remove this, go that direction, two decimal places, and it becomes 0.6. Or you can just divide it out. It may take a little more time, but you'll ultimately get the correct answer until you get comfortable with this. All right, one-third times something equals over 100. Now, we worked this just a few moments ago. We know 33 and one-third, hmm, what was 33 and one-third? Well, let's leave it that way, times 33 and one-third. Actually, this member was 100 over 3. If I multiply that times 3, the 3 is canceled, it gives me 100. That's why this ends up being 100. So, but 33 and one-third over 33 and one-third, if I divide those, it equals one, and that one times one-third is one-third. I'm just representing my one as 33 and one-third divided by 33 and one-third. Now, 33 and one-third times three is 100. 33 and one-third times one is 33 and one-third. Okay. What percent is that? Well, it's 33 and one-third per 100. So that's 33 and one-third percent. Now I could, if I want to get to the decimal, uh, I have 33 and one-third, and that one-third is 0.333, which you could figure that by dividing one divided by three. Now I'm dividing all of that by 100, and my decimal point is going to move to the left two places. So 0 0.3333. That would be converting that fraction to a decimal. Okay. Now, what if we convert percentages to a decimal? Remember, these are like percent. That percent sign means per 100. 85 per 100. I can replace this sign per the line 100. 
Now 85 divided by 100, I could go ahead and do the math if I want to. Put my decimal point first so I don't lose it. 100 will not go into 85, so I need to add the zero. Now, 8, 8 times 100 is 800. 850 minus 800 leaves me 50. Bring down another zero. 5 times 100 is 500. Subtract that, I end up with zero. Now you'll notice 0.85. This decimal point when here was here when I had the percent sign. If I'm converting to a decimal, the percent or the decimal moves to the left. Decimal point moves to the left two places. Or you can divide it out. For example, this one. Let's just see if we can guess this one correct. 7%. Where's my decimal points? Right there. If I move it one place, two place, I'd have to add a zero, right? So now I'm thinking that's 0 0.07 decimal. Well, I know, all right, I'm going to get all this off here. We're trying to challenge ourselves to see, is this correct? 7%, remember the percent sign means per 100. So I have 7 per 100. Now then, now I can take 7 divided by 100. Where's my decimal? First thing I do, put my decimal point there. Add a zero. 70, 100, we're not going to 70. I need to put the zero here. Drop another zero down. Ah, 100, we're going to 700. Seven times. Seven times 100 is 700. So that 700 minus 700 is zero. So, 0 0.07. Wow. <laughs> okay. Give yourself a wow. That's important. I like to have fun. And I love math. All right, let me erase some of this. Now then, if we're correct in saying I want to go from 115% to a decimal, we're trying to go to a decimal, I should, my decimal's here. If I remove this to a decimal, I go one, two. Put the decimal there. So that should equal 1.15. Now we can challenge ourselves again. We know, let me get rid of this, 115% is 115 per 100. That's what the percent means. Now 115 divided by 100 Where's my decimal point? It's right there. All right, this will go into it one time. One time 100 is 100. So 115 minus 100 is, there's 15 left, right? Zero from five is five, zero from one is one. All right, add another zero, drop it down. That'll go into it one time, 100. It leaves me 50. I bring another zero down. 500, 5. 5 times 100 is 500. I'm running out of room. 500 minus 500 is zero. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, so those cancel out. So 1.15, we were correct. Just moving that decimal two points if we're going from percent to a decimal. We move it to the left. If we're going from a decimal to a percent, we move it two places to the right and add the percent sign. So if I want to change this to percent, move it one, two. So that's one, one, five with the percent. 115% is the same as 1.15. 
All right, I'm going to pause the video and we're going to put up one more problem. I'll be back in just a moment. Well, maybe I won't be back in just a minute. My pause button is not working. Well, I guess we'll end the video here, or let me just erase and see if we can uh, get this squared away. Hang on just a moment. I hope you kids are being good today and learning lots of stuff. It's always fun to learn. I have to put my glasses on so I can see what's happening here. Okay, we want to convert. We have a fraction, a decimal, and a percent. decimal to a percent. We have a decimal 0 0.351. We have 85 and one half percent. Six and two fifths. All right, that should be enough. Okay, we want to convert one-half to a decimal. We did this earlier. One-half times something equals something over 100. 100 divided by 2 is 50. So if I multiply that one-half by 1, and I'm representing my 1 as 50 over 50, then um, that comes out to be 2 times 50 is 100. 50 times 1 is 50. So, 50 per 100 is 50%. So that gives me my 50%. Now, if I want to make that a decimal, I just move it two places this way, and it becomes 0 0.5. Okay. All right, now then, 0 0.351. Whoa. Well, uh, as a percent, since we have a decimal, I can move the decimal point two places to the right. That's 35.1%. Okay. 35.1% means it's 35.1 per hundred. 35.1 per 100. Okay, 85 and a half percent, which is 85.5. We've already see that half is 0.5. Now then, if I change that to a decimal, move it two places to the left, so that's 0 0.855. And that's 85.5 per 100. So 85.5 percent is 85.5, drop the percent per 100. Now, six and two fifths, what are we going to do with that? Uh, several ways to do this. 2 over 5. 2 divided by 5. Okay, there's my decimal point. Can't do anything with that, so I add a 0. Now then, 4 times 5 is 20. Okay, so this is 0.4. So this could be changed into a decimal that's called 6.4. Now, if I'm changing a decimal to percent, 
I move the decimal point two places to the right, that's 640 percent. So just keep working with problems and, and try to understand moving the decimal. Um, oh, I should go ahead and make a fraction out of this one, sorry. Six times five is 30, plus two is 32 over five. Now if I change this to, so that's 32 over five times something equals something over 100, okay? So now, 100 divided by 5 is 20, so 20 over 20, 20 times 5 is 100, 32 times 20, bring down to 0, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, it's 640 per 100, and it should be because now if I divide 640 by 100, I should get 6.4, awesome. So my fraction would be 640 per 100. Now obviously that could reduce. All right guys, hopefully this made some sense, but just let Miss Ostrom know uh, what some of your needs are and I'll try to help any way I can. And so I guess that's all for now. Why are we doing this? Hey, together we're trying to build a better tomorrow and do that through math. Keep studying, guys, okay? And we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.